What's going on, viewers from the internet? I'm Variety Gamer 95 back for some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Okay, so last time I showed off quite a lot that has opened up after clearing Chapter 1 and getting Paper Mode from Hooktail Castle. So this time we are going to progress forward with the game. Progress forward. Okay, so I made some preparations. I got, got some more shroom roasts. I cooked a fire flower. You see my item setup is different, and in my shopping for super shrooms, I saved up enough points to get the ice storm. Blows a cold wind at all enemies and freezes them. We'll be able to see this in a little bit. I also sold a couple of badges. I sold Mega Rush Partner and uh, Close Call. I also deep quit Sleepy Stop because I remembered it's not going to be too terribly helpful in the coming area. So I equip Happy Heart for right, for right now. And we'll get to see how this works. I want to show off at least some of the badges in this game because I neglected to do that in the first Paper Mario. But with this game's better combat, I figure I could do that more easily. Uh, I think there was something else that I did. Was that my imagination? Maybe that was my imagination. Let's just get the show on the road, huh? So we can use Paper Mode to shortcut through here. And go down this pipe after failing the first time. And we can get there. We can get to the fuzzy door even faster by using the paper mode again. Uh, I actually want to show off what was in the door to the left. That's okay. I'll be back for it. So the fact that I uh, failed failed to go in the door doesn't matter right now. I'll be back for that door because I'm going to be coming back here. So let's stand on this. Turn into a plane, and woo! Bam, just like that. Let's go back to the Thousand Year Door and hold up the Diamond Star. I believe that is what it was. Yes. Okay, so let's hold up the Diamond Star on this pedestal here. Um, alright Mario, hold up that Crystal Star! There's our next objective, guys. The location of a crystal star is recorded on your magical map. Hey, uh, Mario, look there. The next crystal star showed up on the map. But, I'm sorry, but I don't have a clue where that is. Um, I think maybe we should take it to Professor Frank to let him look at it. Oh god, I gotta do the voice again. This voice kills my throat, I'm just letting you guys know that. That's why I was coughing so much in the first episode. Harm! Mm -hmm. I see, I see! Crystal clear! Um, so can you tell us where the next crystal star is or not? It's in the Boggly Woods! The second crystal star is inside a great tree there! A great tree in the Boggly Woods, huh? About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Um, Professor Frankly, you should probably know it's about Princess Peach. Mr. Mario got an email from her just recently. Her Highness said that, he, that the guys kidnapped her are also hunting crystal stars. Oh, she says she doesn't even know where she's being held. Yeah. Uh-oh, if Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the Crystal Stars, what could they hope to achieve? Will the treasure be... Ugh! Too many unknowns! Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the Crystal Stars in that map. Um, I guess all we can do is head to Bogley Woods to find that next Crystal Star. Yes, I recommend you do just that, and find it before the Princess's captors do. But don't be hasty, if you're low items or health, drop by the shop and in first. 
I'll keep researching you a little more of the crystal stars, the ancient treasure. Okay, well, I already took care of all of that personal business, as you guys saw. All right, looks like everybody's in tip-top shape. Yeah, we are good to move on. All right, so looks like we didn't have much to fear. So let's go ahead and shortcut. Let's go ahead and shortcut again. I'm going to stand against the wall here so that I do not forget to show what's in this room. This is another shortcut room, but with a yellow block. We cannot break this yet. So, let's just uh, press on, huh? Oh, and I don't know what's up with this area right here. I think this is just a... Uh, I think this is just a psych you out, honestly, because there's nothing in here. As to what's in this room... Oh, God. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, this is actually where the spike shield badge is in this game. But as you can see, these spikes pop up way too fast. We need to find a way to turn invisible so we can get past this obstacle. Uh, we are not going to be getting spike shield for quite a while. How much longer? Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to say right now. You figure it out. What do you guys think? Hey, it's one of those creatures. Hey, Mario, you see that? That was one of the things Professor Franklin mentioned. Ooh. Well, now we have the means to go through these bars, so let's do that. Oh, come on, little guy. We're not going to bite. Eek! Don't eat me! Huh? Uh, you didn't come to eat me? And you're not bullies? Of course not. For real? Phew! Boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have an accident. <laughs> if you say that, I guess again, nerd, uh, this kid will freak out. If Koos is your partner, he'll say something along the lines of, I thought you were nicer, Mario. Don't be mean. Something like that. You can read the, any missed quotes on Mario Wiki. Go look it up for yourself. Um, aren't you one of the creatures from Boggly Woods? Why are you down here? What? Why do you know about me? No! Y you must be! You guys are working for those x dots, aren't you? You chased me here! No! It's the end! x knots? What the heck are those? Sounds like tissues to the extreme or something. Look, we're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who called themselves x knots came to where I live. They came inside a green tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So, I've come all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys the great tree? If those are the same guys who kidnapped the princess, they want the crystal star. Now that you mention it, the did say something about some crystal star thingy. But we pewdies don't know anything about crystal any crystals or stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you, uh... What was it? The crystal star? If you do, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if you help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's always say it more time. I'm begging you! Really? You are joking? You'll do it? Um, I guess we should. I feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Plus, we do need to get the crystal stars for those X guys, do. Oh, thank you so much! This is great! I'm so happy! My name is Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way! Alright. Let's see here. Wrong button, Joseph. It's left. No, wrong button, Joseph. It's left. I swear I'm never going to get that correct. That's Punio, who lives in the great tree of Boggly Woods. And hey, he must be the one we saw earlier, right? Yeah, totally. Oh, I thought she said something more. Okay, I'm wrong. Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny elders have some button around here open the secret entrance. Aha! Okay, nice secret entrance. That also goes two ways. This is an extremely helpful badge. Damage dodge. Decrease damage by one with a guard action command. I guess I'm not showing happy heart. Because damage dodge is buffed. 
It needed three BP in, in the first Paper Mario. Now it only needs two. Nice. If you could just perfect the guard, you could reduce damage by two as opposed to just one. This is so helpful. You better gonna keep this equipped. You can get to the woods we Pewties live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry! So let's go through the pipe. And let's begin our next chapter. Quite literally, in fact. Okay, here we go, guys. Chapter 2. The Great Boggly Tree. Boggly Woods. So, the Boggly Woods, huh? Looks mysterious, alright. What are we going to next? Um, okay, just a bit further, we should be able to see the Great Tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister, too! Come on, let's go! Alright, let's go indeed. Let's hit the save block so that I don't go through all those shenanigans again. You know... Just in case, you never know what an emergency could arise. Let's see here. <laughs> Time to go to work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm-hmm. A, find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We could just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian, but you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm? What's this now? Vivian! What's that you're floating over there? Oh! What, you mean this? I found it in that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely! I just had to pick it up! Oof! Vivian, for shame! Pick up some with scraps? Disgusting! Greedy! But enough about that! Thank you, my dear pack rat! Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Grotus! Wee! Eep! But what? I I don't have that! You said it was way too important, so you took it! You should have it! Don't be ridiculous! I don't have that thing! You were in charge of it! You wretched little worm! Maybe we've said that you probably screwed up! But I... Gah, gah. Oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf! Save your games for later! Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian! Don't tell me you lost our precious sketch! But, listen, I... Look, it's not my fault! I never had the sketch! Silence, you dits! Such impudence! How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child! It's clear to me that the only rationale your type understands is force! For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found! Yes, so sorry! But, but, Beldum! Oh, you're horrid! Uh huh, that's quite the squ squabble these ladies have got going on. This is the youngest sister of the three. The oldest one really picks on her, huh? I don't know whose picture they're talking about, but you think she really lost it? Uh, no, not what I wanted to do. I guess that's the middle sister. She seems like the strong, silent type to me. Hmm, I can't get a good read of this girl at all. Go up to her. This shitty woman is certainly selfish and mean. I mean, what a total meanie. Do you see how cruel she is to her own sister? I wonder what went on between them. Oh, what am I to do? Uh, go, go. What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us! Scram! Right now! I have no business with you! Whatever you say, uh, whatever you say, lady. Let's just press on, huh? And look! A new enemy, right off the bat! You son of a- See, thank God for chill out! <laughs> Or else, oh god, two enemies to title. Thank God for chill out, or else I would be in trouble. Let's tattle the pale piranha here. Got it. That's a pale piranha. You know about these guys, the famous piranha plants. 
this colony of subspecies has adapted, has adapted to boggly woods. Ah, the wonders of nature! Max HP is 4, attack is 2, defense is 0. If you try to jump with them, they'll totally chop on you! Yeah, so we gotta hammer them. I can take care of this guy with the power smash if I can get this. Wham! Alright, so the, the pale piranha is down. Let's see. Let's see, so damage dodge only applies to Mario. There is a damage dodge partner, but we won't be coming across it until later. So this is a cleft. Oh, uh, wow, it really changed its appearance from the first game, huh? Let's tattle it. Got it. That's a cleft. A rock-headed jerk with spikes on his noggin. What a rocker. Max HP is 2, attack is 2, defense is 2. That hard hit is a major pain. Fire doesn't hurt it, but other types are pretty effective, usually. If nothing seems to work, you can always just run. Oh god, defensive 2. Hey! I restored 1 HP on Goombella. Nice! Your HP is full. Okay. Uh, well, I don't have a suitable item besides the Ice Storm, so I'm just gonna Power Smash. If I can get this, I'll finish it off in one turn. Wham! There we go! Let's see, so there is a third enemy that we are going to be coming across in this area. That refund badge is going to be useful as soon as I can use an item! Okay, don't grab that, Joseph, don't grab that. Oh, oh god. I'm getting chased by two goons. And I can't... I... Thank God for chill out again. I can't hammer the... Oh, jeez. So this is a good time to show this off. Let's see what the Ice Storm can do for us. Check this out. Wow, it actually froze all of them. I don't believe it. Who would be possible for? And there we go. Refund came in handy. It, the coins only come after the item is used. Unlike the first game, where the coins actually showed up while the item is being pulled out. See? So one power shell take care of everyone. Bam! I didn't remember the ice storm actually dealing damage, to be honest. I thought it only froze the enemy. Okay, so chill out. Uh, not even Koops' shell can crack this rock hard open, so let's just, uh, let's just go forward, huh? There it is. There! Can you see it? That big tree! That's what I was telling you about. That's where, pu where we puties live. That's home! Uh, of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piters, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me! Okay, so looks like he's gonna... Oh, God. I was hoping it wouldn't come across the end coupon this fast. And if I pick that up, that's gonna eat up my last slot. So if you fall down a hole in a section like this, you'll respawn at the beginning and lose only 1 HP. That's it. Here's the great tree. Let's see here. Uh. Oh no, what's what's the matter? What, who's who's saying that? I think it's Coops. Oh no, what's the matter? Uh, well, take a look. This door was here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take us so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh. Um. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Got it! Okay, what is he going to show us? Let's follow him and see. Let's see here. Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We could get it through there. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? Not to be a worry war, but how in the heck can we find somebody's secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy is not tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh, oh, got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us! 
Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind powers to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's head back in the direction we came from. That's really all we can do, so let's backtrack. That's actually one of the complaints about this game that people tend to have. It's the backtracking. Let's see here. Ah, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes! This place is so different from the bright flashbulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Fleury, grow ever more or more lovely here. Plus those squishy, adorable little beauties that live in that tree are so nice to me. But, I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down the stage. On me! Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages! It's settled then! I shall rise again! But before I make my stage come back, I simply must whip my body into my mind into shape. I just have to put on some makeup and make the beauty even more beautiful! Wait a moment! No! It's gone! God, I tell you! My! My! Her what? No, oh, that doesn't sound good. Anyway. Uh, do I? Do I want to swap to Goombella? You know what? Yeah, I do. Let's swap to Goombella because there's still that one more enemy that I want to tattle. Let's see. Uh, oh, right. I thought I was going to the pipe again. If we head straight in this direction, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. Let's see. So there's going to be some more enemies to fight, too. Oh god, okay. Oh, I need power scratch to deal- There's the enemy, there's the enemy. BAM! That's the enemy that I was talking about. The last one I need to tattle. Oh god, that cleft has an earthquake. That's an item we haven't seen. That is something called an earthquake. Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, let's see here. You know what? I'm pretty sure I can take care of him. If I can get it, that is. As I, don't, I don't want that cleft using that thing. That item is called an Earthquake. It's basically a souped up version of the power block. Wham! Okay. Nice! I believe this enemy, a Dark Puff, it has an attack of two if I'm not mistaken. So let's title it. Got it! That is it. That's a Dark Puff. It's basically a tiny, mean Thunderhead. Max HP is 3, attack is 2, defense is 0. Oh, his HP is 3, I thought it was 4. Sometimes they'll charge itself with electricity. Don't touch it when it does. Youch! You know what I mean, right? <laughs> Shocking! After it charges itself, it'll totally zap you with lighting. Be it as fast as you can. I don't think that'll be a problem. Bam! Let's see here. So the set piece won't cause any harm to us. Because it's on the right side. What'd you expect? Okay, nice. And this is actually where sometimes you only want to restore HP, you only want to restore FP. Alright, so let's go ahead and we have to duck into the right here. And we have to hit the switch to lift this pipe. There's a star piece over there, too. We have to lift this pipe to progress. Another star piece. That is the second one that I currently have. Oh, let's go in the pipe, quick! Okay, good. There is another shine sprite over here, and we need Koops to grab it. Bam! It's ours! Alright, stand on the edge. This can be tricky at first. But if you, as long as you stand on the edge, you should be okay. Let's see here. Swap back to Goobella just in case. Oh, make sure it goes to the right. Quake hammer slightly damage all ground enemies. 
It can be a pretty helpful batch. Let's see, where does this use Quake Hammer? 3 FP required uses this attack, which slightly damages all ground enemies. So it needs 2 BP. I think it needed 2 in the original game as well? I don't remember. I really don't. Okay, so here we go with the, uh... Look! They're in the distance! That's what I was telling you about! Furry's place! Heart block. I don't really think I need that. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Now, I... Hold on. Let me check my items. I could have sworn there was... There it is! A Volshroom! Oh, I... That was the first I picked one of those up. A Volshroom. Electrifies you to damage direct attackers. It's temporary. All you have to do is have the character eat it, and they'll be able to... Counter... Direct attackers with electricity. Alright, so let's go ahead and go inside this house. Uh, excuse me! Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Maybe. Let's see what's through this door. Let's see. Matter Flurry! Hello! If you're here, say something! What a totally nice house! Super coordination between the red walls and furniture! I'm so jealous it's not even funny! I have like no sense of interior decoration! Eek! No! Out of the question! You mustn't come in here! Uh, Matter Flurry? Are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment! Those darling squishy little footsteps! Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last! You poor dear! Is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am! The great tree's entry hole is blocked! There's this stupid door we can't see to open! My puny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle, and Mario needs these crystal stars! It's a train wreck, really! If you can't find the secret entrance for us, we're done! Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little Punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I made a bit of a bite myself. I just cannot come out. Wow, what's the matter? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect they dropped it in my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that! Oh, I totally know how you feel. When I go out, I am all about the accessories. I know, right? I know, right? Tying the pith hat. Who would have thought? Hey, wait a sec. You lost your necklace? I'm having deja vu big time. I swear someone just said they found a necklace. What's that? Do speak up! You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clues to my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, you must help me! Please, be a dear! Find it and bring it back to me! If you could, then I'd be delighted to help my squishy little friend Punio! Don't worry about it, Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Where it is, he's super! You can do it, right, Mario? Nah. Huh? Did you just say nah? Uh, what's wrong with you? Let's go find her necklace! <laughs> okay, that's pretty good! I'm sorry you troubled you so! <laughs> I wanted to do that inside a video for so long. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, let's press on, huh, Joseph? Build him! I told you! Blaming me for losing the sketch! And you had it! Silence, you twit! Now's not the time to get hung up on stupid details! We must study the sketch! Ugh! Go! Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly! Check out the bushy mustache! How handsome! You know something though, my lovelies? I swear I've seen this gentleman before! Ah! He's Mr. Mustache! Go! Go! Ah! I don't believe this! Vivian! This is without a doubt all your fault! I'll be dealing with us a strict punishment later, my dearie! Oh yes, I promise you that! What? That's not fair! You're the one who had the- Silence, you squirrel brain! Don't you cop that into the attitude with me! Ugh, this is not fair! And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more! Aww! And, 
Since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. Oh, God. Uh, quite the squabble they've got going on over there, huh? All right, there's nothing we can do except backtrack, so let's let's do it. All right, back where we were. Ugh. Fortunately, these enemies are still here. I thought they were gonna be gone. Ugh. Well, these enemies can only target the character in the front, so this is a good excuse to show off the bullshroom. Electrify. Enemies that make contact will get hurt. Check this out. Bam! See? He took one damage himself. Nice. Let's see. Oh, it lasts for four turns. That's quite a while. So, there is a badge in this game called Zap Tap that will let Mario have a permanent electrified status. But you have to go to an out of the way area in order to actually find it. I have plans to show off that area by the time we get to Chapter 5, so it's not going to be for a little bit. Just know that I'll be showing it off eventually. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. I can't grab those coins. Are you serious, man? Uh, I, I, okay. So, I'm going to do this. You can run away from a battle, so, in the first Paper Mario, only Mario can run away, so you only have one chance per turn. And now your partner can flee as well. Okay, so you have to tap AP to run away. And if you succeed, you'll lose coins in the field, but you can pick them back up if you're fast enough. <laughs> Got it! The OK has to be in the green. Boy, you guys are persistent, my god! Well, if it isn't Mario! Shiny mustache, no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us! <laughs> and you know why? Because we were waiting for you! Ooh, that's them! They're the ones that have the... Wait a minute, what? You were waiting for Mario? What's that supposed to mean, you weirdo? <laughs> I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the Crystal Stars! And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you! Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the map of the Crystal Stars? Have you been talking to Princess Peach or... Wait, what am I saying? The real question is, who the heck are you freaks? <laughs> Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, I'll tell you. We are... The Three... Shadow Beauties! The Three Shadow Beauties? Vivian, you make a poop! What are you babbling about? It's Shadow Sirens! I don't see three beauties! I see two, but then there's you and your pug! UGLY! <laughs> okay, I have to point this out. This scene plays out very differently in the Japanese version of the game. So, in all non-English and German versions of this game, I believe it's German, these characters are transgender. And in the Japanese version in particular, Beldum insults Vivian by calling her a man. I believe the word is puta or something like that. Ah! Oh my god, Joseph. I cannot believe the, that word just left my mouth. So, um, I realized after the fact that the word that I just said in this part is a Spanish word. So, I decided to look it up on Google, and I figured that horrid word meant something along the lines of idiot. I found out it has to do with sex and prostitution. That is not a nice word! <laughs> That's not even... Oh my god, I can't believe that. That's gonna haunt me for the rest of my days. Seriously. So, the word... The actual word in Japanese is uh, otokonoko. That is what I am looking for. And the text that Beldum is saying in Japanese translates to, Where is the usual taste? Aren't you a man? So yeah, that is where I was actually going with that. 
I did not mean to taint your ears with such a horrid word. I apologize profusely. <laughs> I apologize profusely. I know, like, I don't actually speak Spanish, even though I'm Mexican. Like, I don't even speak the Spanish accent, as you guys can hear. I don't speak Spanish for, uh, it's a bit of a complicated story, but that's for another time. <sighs> but the word that just left my mouth is not an excuse. That's not an excuse. I deeply apologize. I should have a picture up. But oh man, knowing that info now, oh, it's it's quite a different experience. I certainly didn't know this when I was a kid. That's for sure. <laughs> oh right, sis. I'm sorry. It's just you always call us lovelies and. It's just a figure of speech! Oh, we've got some fierce punishment coming your way! Oh, gee whiz! I hate being punished! That's for later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. That's still my lovelies! Or rather, my lovely and ugly! Merrily, take again! The might of the three Shadow Sirens would be more than enough to win the day! Oh, okay. Go! Can't flee this fight, huh? It's most unlucky that our sets have set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marilyn, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Good. Yes, sis. Carefully this fight. It's a mid-boss. We have three characters to tattle. Ugh. Here we go, huh? Vivian. Got it. That's Vivian. She's the youngest of the three Shadow Sirens. Max HP is 10, attack is 1, defense is 0. She doesn't seem all that noteworthy. Uh, she is kinda cute, I guess. She might even be cuter than I am. I guess. Uh, what am I thinking? I think you can't find anything to say to her. Let's power jump. BAM! Let's see here. So she only has one attack, that's it. Or, no. They can all do something else. Let's see here. Okay. I can't believe I got all three of those perfectly. That's something else. Let's title Marilyn next. Got it. That's Marilyn. She's a Shadow Simon, Beldum's younger sister. Max HP is 12, attack is 2, defense is 0. She charges up her attacks occasionally. She says here she's the toughest of the sisters, so might be best to defeat her first, huh? Other than that, she doesn't have any particularly outstanding characteristics. Let's see. Let's do a power jump. Yeah, sure. Whee! Bam! Nice! What are you doing, Vivian? You twit! I'll never forgive you if you lose! S sorry sis! Oh, uh, yeah, they all have magic attacks, too. The Maryland can also charge her attack. Ugh! Mario's tiny. So Tiny reduces attack by two. Let's title Beldum next. Got it. That's Beldum. She's the oldest sister, the leader of the Shadow Sirens. Max HP is nine, attack has one, defense is zero, but her blizzard attack has an attack of two. She can make her partners big enough as Tiny and attacks with weird magic. The worst thing about her is that Sinister Sticker. She sounds so totally evil. I mean, she's just the sort of person you want to avoid at the plague, you know? All right, we have to do a power smash here. Wham! <laughs> Sorry, sis. Ah, oh, all right. <laughs> nice, nice one. That's nice one game. Oh, an attack of four. That's quite a lot of damage. Huge. Type power is not boosted. When a character is giant, their attack is boosted by two. Multi bonk. Continue bonking foes to the missing action command. This is basically power bounce, but for Goombella. Oh, a coin! How nice! Okay. Oh, I, oh, I actually got the. Uh, that's a honey syrup. Nice. I got the silage commands, but I screwed up the action command. Let's use the honey syrup. The honey syrup that we just got, you know. Let's see here. At least Tiny doesn't drop defense, you know. 
Uh, that is a chance to freeze. Okay, how about I try that again, huh? Let's target... Sure. There we go, that's multi-block. Ah! Now it's up to you! That's two of them down. Uh, we didn't use any star power, so, uh, whatever, it's fine. Woo! Bam! I missed the stylish command. Got it, okay. Alright, let's power jump again. Bam! See, and just one, and one attack will finish her off. There we go, that's the fight. Go! 30 star points, 10 from each of them. <laughs> Ooh, maybe we were just a touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps! We would have brought if you two pulled your weight! Both of you prepare for a world class potion session when we get home! Wherever home is. A necklace. Flurry's favorite necklace. That's Flurry's necklace! Yes! Let's take it to her! Right, back to Flurry's house with us. I sure I can, I can take Coops out. Why not? Oh God, that cleft has like impeccable vision, man. I swear. I just want to go in the pipe. All right, here we are. We're back. Let's go ahead and give her the necklace. Here you go, lady. Oh, you delightful fellow! You found my necklace! I'm beside myself, truly! But, you still mustn't see me! Please, leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment! Oh, splendid! Splendid! My oh-so-ravishing necklace! I'm a washing joy! Oh? Is she gonna put on a show for us? Oh! Oh my word! Mario, isn't it? Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Well, my my my! Aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes indeed! I simply must thank you for your graciousness! But how to do it? Hmm, perhaps if I grab you and give you a little sugar? <laughs> Here I come, handsome! Time to give you a proper thank you! Pucker up! So take note of the animation that is about to play. This will be Mario's defeat animation for when he runs out of HP. Also, <laughs> Nintendo totally knew what they were doing with this design. <laughs> Let's be real. Oh my. Oh Mario, you were just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. Yes, you are! That's that! So tell me, are you truly looking for the Crystal Stars? The very same Crystal Stars spoken of by all the lowlifes in Rogueport? Hmm, a dangerous search for beautiful jewels! How absolutely marvelous! And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was! It's time for a change! And besides, I do declare, that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me! A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe! So I dare say I'll be joining you in this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Flurry joined your party as our third party member. She's a wind spirit. Flurry's abilities, a primer. Press X and Flurry will exhale strong gusts of wind that can blow things away. If she blows the direction of an enemy, she can make its head spin for a bit. Hold down X with Flurry exhale continuously. They knew what they were doing with that, too. That looks so suggestive. She can also do a body slam battle. Squash can use with her stage presence. She can also aid Mario by using Gale Force attack to blow enemies away. This is wonderful! It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great! And even more importantly, Flurry's cho chosen to join us. Let's go to the Great Tree! 
So Flurry comes with us starting with 15 HP. When upgraded fully, she will have the second highest HP of all the party members at 35. Gumbella will have 30, and Kuz will ultimately have 25. So before I end the video, let's see here. Before I end the video, I would like to show Flurry off in battle. It's not clear now, but when upgraded, Flurry can actually can actually be the best defensive partner of the game. I was correct! I was correct! I was 100% correct! There was an item hidden in there! I freaking knew it! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Let's have this Dark Puff just touch us. Okay, this is great. Let's show off Flurry. So, Bardis then. Plunge down onto an enemy from above. Let have the two cursors. Let's see, like this. BAM! Oh, oh wow! See, there is something else I can show off too. Appeal. Try to win over the crowd. This is what appealing does. Let's see here. Oh god, okay. Usually when one of them does it, they'll all do it. So, the pose that Flurry did, Koops and Gubella did a pose as well. That is their appeal pose to the crowd. It gives you more star power. Gale Force. Attack all enemies with a powerful gust of wind. Press and release A with perfect timing. Now, if this works, I want you guys, guys to take note of something. Got them all. And notice, they actually give star points when they're blown away like this. It's functionally identical to Lackaluster's Gale uh, Hurricane. But in that game, enemies blown away did not give star points. In this game, Gale Force does. The only reason I never really used it as a kid was because I was led to believe that it would just always fail. That I was just plain unlucky, you know? Plus, let's be real, Lack of Lister sucks given how late you get him in the game. Well, I guess that's it, huh? That's it for this video. Next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, let's see what we can do about moving forward as we backtrack to the Great Tree. See you then.